it was the battle of the sequels at the box office this holiday weekend. Did Ice Age 3 freeze out Transformers 2? That is kind of the question you've all been asking this morning, I think. Here with a midsummer blockbuster report card is Missy Schwartz, senior editor of Entertainment Weekly. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, before we get to the battle of the sequels, mm. let's talk about the sort of adult, grown-up drama, yes. the Dillinger movie. How did that do? It actually did really well, and I think it's a testament to Johnny Depp's appeal, even when he's not swashbuckling as a as a pirate in the in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Right. And over the five day weekend, it managed to make forty one million dollars, which for a two and a half hour adult grown up drama, right. rated R, is sure. really good. Because there's this whole thing in Hollywood now that it, the stars don't drive the film, right. and will anybody go to anything? Even it, 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 you know, does it have to have crashes in right. animation? Usually so it this, does. So in this case, they it did okay. Yes, and it's I think it's heartening for those of us who like to go see something that's a little doesn't have as many explosions and pyrotechnics. And I really think it again. I mean, there aren't yeah. a lot of movie stars left, but Johnny Depp. Johnny is Depp. Johnny Depp. Hold same it up. guy. Dillinger and the pirate. Exactly. What range? He can do anything. There you go. All right, let's talk about the uh, the sequels then. Yes. That have been both been out. For- because Ice Age came out, what, came, last week? No, it came out on Wednesday. On Wednesday, it came okay. Out this last week. Right. So, um, and they're neck and neck, and li- we'll, we'll know later today. One of them is sure to pull ahead, just right. inch a little bit ahead. One of them will, will end up being on top. But Ice Age was, came out last Wednesday, did pretty well. It did really well. Yeah. And, and this I think is the third one. This is the third one. It has great staying power. I think it's really a testament to the need for a family film this time of year. Right. People, families who have already taken their kids to Transformers 2, this was perfect. And if I were Ice well, Age and this, right and now... Well, this certainly ages much younger. Yeah, oh, much you, younger. Much, much, much younger. Much, younger. Right, yeah. But I think it still can appeal to, you know, right. preteens. And Transformers, is there a machine somewhere that, like, just spits the money out you because... Think. This has been out now a second whole. It's like what two and a half weeks. Yeah, it's it's unstoppable, and right. I don't think we've seen the end of it. And I, that's why I think that if you're Ice Age right now, even if they don't end up on top at number one, they're pre- feeling pretty happy. Who cares? Because this is an, a juggernaut. It is a juggernaut. It is a juggernaut. Definition. There you go. Now, did you see it? We had people from the movie on. Megan Fox was on last week, and I said, I'm not sure I actually understood. She said, I was in it. I read the script. Yes, I was in the I movie, and I'm still not sure I understood <laughs> you it. you got to love her for speaking her mind. But it, and in the end, I'm not sure it actually matters. I don't think it matters. Because the robots are so cool. I don't think it matters. You've got a beautiful woman. You've got explosions. You've got more explosions and robots. Yeah, it's, and yeah, it's kind of sounds like a weekend at my house. <laughs> There you go. All right. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. Sure appreciate it. Missy Schwartz.